hi guys so today i'm going to be showing y'all how i fleek my brows everyone always asks me who does your brows oh your brows are popping like you gotta teach me so today i'm gonna teach y'all so stay tuned and watch my video so here i'm just using my beauty 360 wipes um i got them from like a walgreens and i just want to be honest and tell you they're far from my favorite uh, I feel like they dry my skin out, but they were just a cheap, quick little pickup. But if I can give any advice to y'all, invest in some wipes, boo-boos. Like, the good kind. And here, I'm gonna just be using a cotton pad that I also got from Walgreens. And, yeah, I'm just gonna be damping that with some micellar water that my girl Leo got me from Sephora. Shout out to your girl. So I'm gonna be damping that cotton swipe, that cotton pad or whatever, with some micellar water, and I'm just gonna use that to extract any excess doils, oils and dirt from my face, because I guess that's what micellar water is supposed to do, and extract all the impurities. Damn, I can't talk. So I'm just fanning uh, all that, you know, stuff. I'm fanning it because your face is a little damp. And then I'm going to use some Pond's Dry Skin Cream. Just a dab. A little goes a long way. Moisturize my face because I do have dry skin. Try not to get too much on your eyebrows because you don't want to weigh down your eyebrows and you're about to like put product on them. Yeah, girl. And here I'm just moisturizing my lips with some Bliss Sticks. And now I'm going to be spooling out my eyebrows with this little spoolie that I think I probably got from like a little makeup palette or whatever. But now I'm using my black brown pencil from NYX or NYX as some people call it. And I use black brown, sometimes black, but I prefer black brown. And I use it for the tail of my eyebrow because you'll see later that it gives you like this gradient effect. But yeah, and then I start at the tail for a specific reason. And the reason is, I just feel like that arch is the most important part. Like, it's the key to the project. That's how you nail your eyebrows. Like, it gives the whole life. The bitches go crazy for the arch. So yes, I start with the tail, because that's your arch. Now I'm using brown, a brown eyeliner pencil that I got from my local beauty supply store. And this is where I was saying like you get that gradient effect, like the natural to the dark. So that's why I use brown in the front and black or black brown in the bike, in the bike, or in the back. And now we're just going to fill them in and pay special attention to the front of your brow. You want to lightly, lightly just feather the front of those brows. I cannot express that enough, bitch. Lightly feather the front of your brows because you do not want them to be too harsh. Yeah, you do not want to look like a cartoon character. So here we are just brushing out the front with that spoolie because this is another key part to your brows you don't want block brows no block brows so you want to feather out the front of your brows and you want to take your time doing that because you want them to look as natural as they can possibly look you don't want to look like you painted them on every day but you know you get better with practice I mean, over time, you'll learn how to do your brows for your face. And as long as you like it, I mean, that's all that really matters, right? What you like. So, practice makes perfect. So here I'm using my very crusty and dusty, but trusty, LA Pro Girl Concealer, and I am the color Fawn. That is my brush from Urban Decay. Let me double check. 
Yes. Oh no, Urban Studio, the knockoff. So I think I got that from like Marshalls in a pack. And I'm gonna dab a little bit of this concealer on my brush. And once again, start at the tail. Being as clean and taking my time as I possibly can. I'm gonna brush that down away from the brow so it's easier to blend when it's time to blend. Blending is always key, honey. That's another. I got a couple keys for y'all. Y'all might want to start taking notes. So we're just gonna take a little bit more. We get to the fruit. The fruit. I meant the root. Why the hell can I talk today? So yeah, we just gonna basically clean up that brow. Drag everything down. Clean up that brow, and we're gonna do the same. To, oh no, we ain't doing the same yet. Right here, we just filling in because I guess I might have um, concealed a little bit too much. But it happens to the best of us. That's why you gotta take your time. Now we're gonna dab a little bit more of that concealer and clean up the top of my brow. Now you wanna make sure that you're always grabbing just a little bit of concealer at a time because you always wanna work smarter and not harder. You want to try to get your eyebrow done with the least amount of errors as possible because I can't tell you how many times I sit in the mirror for like a whole hour doing just my eyebrows. So take your time. Now here I want to show y'all if you pay attention, you can see I kind of messed up my arch. So I went back with my um, black and brown and my X pencil and I filled it in just a little bit more um, the key to doing your eyebrows is just being patient and taking your time like whenever you rush I always run my eyebrows so yeah so just for the sake of the video uh, I guess I'll do a little chat with y'all while you watch me do this part of my eyebrows because I don't want to keep repeating the same thing um, I am not a makeup artist. I just want to let y'all know that I do not do makeup like that. I just know how to, you know, do my own face. And a lot of the looks that I do are natural. So, no, I am not a MUA. And I don't do other people's makeup. I only know how to do makeup for my own face. So, here I'm just taking a, another brush that I got from the pack of Urban urban studio and I'm blending the edges of my concealer now that is important because it may look okay in the mirror but when you get outside in front of the Sun everybody is going to be seeing like just the smack of concealer so you want to blend that and here I'm just you know filling in my brows just getting them just as neat and perfect I guess as I can possibly get them so once again I use black brown for the the back on um, the tail and I use brown for the front now look at the difference between the clean brow and the brow that is not cleaned yet like you have to clean your brows boo boo I mean you have to and now we're about to do the next brow because I mean all brows matter and once again we are starting at the tail and uh, I need a little bit more concealer because I don't know what I thought I was doing there. But we're going to use some more concealer. We're going to clean up that arch. Same thing that we did for the other brow, we're going to do for this brow.
so now we're just blending out the concealer in between our brows because sometimes you get the little you know residue of the pencil and now we are done now we are done your brows are on flee like jen so now we're using the sasha buttercup translucent powder and we're gonna dab some like you don't want to dab it right into the powder but if you pay attention like here like like the edges where there's not much powder but just a little bit of product you want to grab that because you don't want your eyebrows to look matte ashy so you just want a bit of the powder and you just want to brush it across your brows and that is going to set your brows so that by the end of the night um they won't look all greasy and oily you know what i'm saying so i like to set my brows and voila eyebrows on fleek Thank you.